Citibank is the consumer banking division of financial services multinational Citigroup. Citibank was founded in 1812 as the City Bank of New York, later First National City Bank of New York. As of March 2010, Citigroup is the largest bank holding company in the United States by total assets, followed by Bank of America and J.P. Morgan Chase. Citibank is a global bank with 3,777 branch locations in 36 countries. The United States is the largest single market with approximately 26% of branches, generating 51% of revenues. Citibank's 983 North American branches are concentrated in major metropolitan areas including New York City, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., Miami, Boston, Philadelphia, Houston, Dallas and San Antonio. Latin America markets make up 25% of revenues, Asia 20%, and Europe slash Middle East slash Africa 4%. In addition to standard banking transactions, Citibank market insurance, credit cards and investment products. Their online services division is among the most successful in the field claiming about 15 million users. As a result of the global financial crisis of 2008 to Euro 2009 and huge losses in the value of its subprime mortgage assets, Citibank was bailed out by aid from the U.S. government under plans agreed for Citigroup. On November 23, 2008, in addition to initial aid of $25 a billion, a further $25 a billion was invested in the corporation together with guarantees for risky assets amounting to $306 a billion. Since this time, Citibank has repaid its government loans in full. History Early history, the Citibank of New York was founded on June 16, 1812. The first president of the Citibank was the statesman and retired Colonel, Samuel Osgood. Ownership and management of the bank was taken over by Moses Taylor, a proto-copyright gar copyright of John Jacob Astor and one of the giants of the business world in the 19th century. During Taylor's ascendancy, the bank functioned largely as a treasury and finance center for Taylor's own extensive business empire. In 1863, the bank joined the U.S.'s new national banking system and became the National City Bank of New York. By 1868, it was considered one of the largest banks in the United States, and in 1897, it became the first major U.S. bank to establish a foreign department. When the Federal Reserve Act allowed it, National City became the first U.S. national bank to open an overseas banking office when its branch in Buenos Aires, Argentina, was opened in 1914. Many of City's present international offices are older. Offices in London, Shanghai, Calcutta, and elsewhere were opened in 1901 and 1902 by the International Banking Corporation, a company chartered to conduct banking business outside the U.S., at that time an activity forbidden to U.S. national banks. In 1918, IBC became a wholly owned subsidiary and was subsequently merged into the bank. By 1919, the bank had become the first U.S. bank to have $1 a billion in assets. Charles E. Mitchell was elected president in 1921 and in 1929 was made chairman, a position he held until 1933. Under Mitchell the bank expanded rapidly and by 1930 had 100 branches in 23 countries outside the United States. The policies pursued by the bank under Mitchell's leadership are seen by historical economists as one of the prime causes of the stock market crash of 1929, which led ultimately to the Great Depression. In 1933 a Senate committee, the Pecora Commission, investigated Mitchell for his part in tens of millions of dollars in losses, excessive pay, and tax avoidance. Senator Carter Glass said of him, Mitchell more than any 50 men is responsible for this stock crash. On December 24, 1927, its headquarters in Buenos Aires, Argentina, were blown up by the Italian anarchist Severino di Giovanni in the frame of the international campaign supporting Sacco and Banzetti. In 1952, James Stillman Rockefeller was elected president and then chairman in 1959, serving until 1967. Stillman was a direct descendant of the Rockefeller family through the William Rockefeller branch. In 1960, his second cousin, David Rockefeller, became president of Chase Manhattan Bank, 
National City's longtime New York rival for dominance in the banking industry in the United States. Following its merger with the First National Bank in 1955, the bank changed its name to the First National City Bank of New York, then shortened it to First National City Bank in 1962. The company organically entered the leasing and credit card sectors, and its introduction of U.S. dollar-denominated certificates of deposit in London marked the first new negotiable instrument in the market since 1888. Later to become part of MasterCard, the bank introduced its first national city charge service credit card a euro popularly known as the Everything Card a euro in 1967. In 1976, under the leadership of CEO Walter B. Riston, First National City Bank was renamed Citibank, N.A. By that time, the bank had created its own one bank holding company, and had become a wholly owned subsidiary of that company, City Corp. The name change also helped to avoid confusion in Ohio with Cleveland-based National City Bank, though the two would never have any significant overlapping areas except for city credit cards being issued in the latter National City territory. Any possible name confusion had City not changed its name from National City eventually became completely moot when PNC Financial Services acquired the National City of Ohio in 2008 as a result of the subprime mortgage crisis. Automated Banking Card Shortly afterward, the bank launched the CityCard, which allowed customers to perform all transactions without a passbook. Branches also had terminals with simple one-line displays that allowed customers to get basic account information without a bank teller. When automatic teller machines were later introduced, customers could use their existing city card. Credit card business In the 1960s the bank entered into the credit card business. In 1965, First National City Bank bought carte blanche from Hilton Hotels. Three years later, the bank sold this division. By 1968, the company created its own credit card. The card, known as the Everything Card, was promoted as a kind of East Coast version of the Bank America card. By 1969, First National City Bank decided that the Everything Card was too costly to promote as an independent brand and joined Master Charge. Citibank unsuccessfully tried again in 1977 Euro 1987 to create a separate credit card brand. The Choice Card. John S. Reed was selected CEO in 1984, and City became a founding member of the Chaps Clearing House in London. Under his leadership, your next 14 years would see City Bank become the largest bank in the United States, the largest issuer of credit cards and charge cards in the world, and expand its global reach to over 90 countries. As the bank's expansion continued, the Nawar and Caroline Springs Credit Card Company was purchased in 1981. In 1981, Citibank chartered a South Dakota subsidiary to take advantage of new laws that raised the state's maximum permissible interest rate on loans to 25%. In many other states, usury laws prevented banks from charging interest that aligned with the extremely high costs of lending money in the late 1970s and early 1980s, making consumer lending unprofitable. Currently, there is no maximum interest rate or usury restriction under South Dakota law when a written agreement is formed. Automatic Teller Machines Citibank was one of the first U.S. banks to introduce automatic teller machines in the 1970s, in order to give 24-hour access to accounts. Customers could use their existing CityCard in this machine to withdraw cash and make deposits, and were already accustomed to using a machine with a card to get information that previously required a teller. In April 2006, Citibank struck a deal with 7-Eleven to put its automated teller machine in more than 6,700 convenience stores in the United States. In the same month, it also announced it would sell all of its Buffalo and Rochester, New York, branches and accounts to M&T Bank. Nationwide Expansion Citibank's major presence in California is fairly recent. The bank had only a handful of branches in that state before acquiring the assets of California Federal Bank in 2002 with Citicorp's purchase of Golden State Bank Corp which had early emerged with First Nationwide Mortgage Corporation. In 2001, Citibank settled a $45 a million class action lawsuit for improperly assessing late fees. 
Following this Citibank lobbied the United States Congress to pass legislation that would limit class action lawsuits to $5 a million unless they were initiated on a federal level. Some consumer advocate websites report that Citibank is still improperly assessing late fees. In August 2004, Citibank entered the Texas market with the purchase of First American Bank of Bryan, Texas. The deal established Citi's retail banking presence in Texas, giving Citibank over 100 branches, $3.5 a billion in assets and approximately 120,000 new customers in the state. First American Bank was renamed Citibank Texas after the takeover was completed on March 31, 2005. In 2008, Citibank was crowned Deal of the Year a Euro Securitization Deal of the Year at the 2008 ALB Japan Law Awards. In 2011, Citigroup announced plans to expand into the metropolitan areas of Atlanta and Seattle. However, to date, these plans have not come to fruition. City has not confirmed nor denied whether these plans were scrapped or are still in the works. City Field, it was announced on November 13, 2006, that Citibank would be the corporate sponsor of the new stadium for the New York Mets. The stadium, City Field, opened in 2009. 2008 a Euro 2009 losses and cost-cutting measures, City reported losing $8 a Euro 11 a billion several days after Merrill Lynch announced that it too had been losing billions from the subprime mortgage crisis in the United States. On April 11, 2007, the parent city announced staff cuts and relocations. On November 4, 2007, Charles Prince quit as the chairman and chief executive of Citigroup, following crisis meetings with the board in New York in the wake of billions of dollars in losses related to subprime lending. Former United States Secretary of the Treasury Robert Rubin has been asked to replace ex-CEO Charles Prince to manage the losses City has amassed over the years of being overexposed to subprime lending during the 2002 Euro 2007 surge in the real estate industry. In January 2008 Citibank sold its branches in Puerto Rico to Popular, Inc. In August 2008, after a three-year investigation by California's Attorney General Citibank was ordered to repay the $14 a million that was removed from 53,000 customers' accounts over an 11-year period from 1992 to 2003. The money was taken under an electronic account sweeping program, where any positive balances from overpayments or double payments were removed without notice to the customers. On November 23, 2008, Citigroup was forced to seek federal financing to avoid a collapse similar to those suffered by its competitors Bear Stearns and AIG. The U.S. government provided $25 a billion in guarantees to risky assets to Citigroup in exchange for stock. This was one of a series of companies receiving financial aid from the government that began with Bear Stearns and peaked with the collapse of Lehman, AIG, and the GSEs, and the start of the TARP program. On January 16, 2009, Citigroup announced that it was splitting into two businesses. Citicorp will continue with the traditional banking business while City Holdings Incorporated operates non-core businesses such as brokerage, asset management, and local consumer finance as well as managing a set of higher-risk assets. The split was presented as allowing Citibank to concentrate on its core banking business. 2010 to present on October 19, 2011, Citigroup agreed to $285 million civil fraud penalty. In 2013, Citibank was awarded Global Bank of the Year in the Bankers' Annual Awards. Historical data Citibank was the third largest bank at the end of 2008 as an individual bank. Subsidiaries, according to the Citigroup website, until October 2006, Citibank ran the following subsidiaries. Citibank, N.A., National Association, a Euro of the original Citibank, primarily doing business in New York State and the tri-state New York metropolitan area. Also the parent company of the other subsidiaries. Citibank Canada a Euro one of Canada's longest-serving foreign banks, currently with 3,400 employees from coast to coast. Citibank Texas, N.A., a Euro the former first American bank. Citibank, FSB. A Euro the former Citicorp Savings, 
as well as the former California Federal Bank and Golden State Bank. Citibank, FSB. A Euro the primary Citibank subsidiary serving all other states, based in Chicago. Citibank Benamex USA A Euro formerly California Commerce Bank, Benamex's U.S. banking division. Citibank, N.A. A Euro A credit card and lending only bank based in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, including the former Associates National Bank. Universal Financial Corporation. A Euro A credit card bank, purchased in 1997, that manages the AT&T Universal Card. On October 1, 2006, a massive restructuring designed to streamline the various Citibank banking charters occurred. Citibank, N.A. absorbed the following divisions, with its headquarters for FDIC purposes being its Paradise Road Las Vegas, Nevada branch. Citibank, FSB, Citibank, FSB, Citibank, Texas, N.A., Citibank Delaware, Citibank Benamex USA. Citicorp Trust, N.A. The following divisions were consolidated into Citibank, N.A., with its headquarters for FDIC purposes being in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Citibank, Nevada, N.A., Citibank USA, N.A., Universal Financial Corporation. Citibank South Dakota, FSB, on March 29, 2011, Citibank, N.A. and Citibank. N.A. announced their intentions to further consolidate their banking charters by announcing a merger which was finalized on July 1, 2011. The surviving FDIC charter was that of Citibank, N.A., which, as part of the merger, moved its headquarters to that of Citibank, N.A.'s in Sioux Falls. In 2005, Macy's, incorporated under its former corporate name Federated Department Stores, sold its consumer credit portfolio to Citigroup, reissuing its cards under the Federated Citigroup Alliance name Department Stores National Bank and allowing Federated to continue servicing the credit accounts from its financial, administrative and credit services group. The cards involved are Macy's and Bloomingdale's. Citibank's private label credit card division, City Commerce Solutions, issues store-issued credit card for such companies as, Sears, ConocoPhillips. ExxonMobil, The Home Depot, Staples, Shell Oil, and others. As of September 9, 2013, Citibank also purchased the portfolio for Best Buy from Capital One, the German branch, the Citibank Privatkund and AG in Company. Gae was sold in July 2008 to the French Cra Copyright Dit Mutual Group. On February 22, 2010 it was renamed Targold Inc. Joint Ventures Mobile Money Ventures, a joint venture with SK Telecom, international subsidiaries, Citibank Algeria, Citibank Argentina, Citibank Australia, Citibank Bangladesh, Citibank Bulgaria, Citibank Canada, Citibank China, Citibank, Citibank Czech Republic, Citibank, Citibank Ecuador, Citibank, 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 Citibank Hungary, Citibank India, Citibank Indonesia, Citibank Italy, Citibank Japan, Citibank Jordan, Citibank Kazakhstan, Citibank Kenya, Citibank Korea, Citibank Malaysia, Citibank New Zealand, Citibank Nigeria, Citibank Pakistan, Citibank Philippines, City Handloi, Citibank Portugal, Citibank Romania, Citibank Russia, Samba. Citibank International Personal Bank Singapore Citibank IPB Singapore, Citibank Singapore, Citibusina Singapore, Citibank Slovakia, Citibank Spain, Citibank Taiwan, Citibank Thailand, Citibank Trinidad and Tobago, Citibank Tunisia, Citibank Taiwan Quarter KIYE, Citibank United Kingdom, Citibank Ukraine, Citibank Vietnam, Latin America, Citibank Argentina, Citibank Banco de Cuscatlan, Citibank Brazil, Citibank Chile, Citibank Colombia, Citytrust, Citivalors, Citibank Costa Rica, Citibank Ecuador, Citibank Guatemala, Citibank, Benamex Mexico, Citibank Nicaragua Banco Uno, Citibank Panama Banco Uno, Citibank Paraguay, Citibank Peru, Citibank El Salvador Banco Uno, Citibank Uruguay, 
Citibank Venezuela, sponsorship, Citibank sponsors the Greek football club Olimiakos FC, as well as City Field in New York. Citibank became a major sponsor of the Sydney Swans in 2005, who play in the AFL, key people, a Euro chairman, Citigroup, Michael Kabat a Euro CEO, Citigroup, in media, referred to in rock band Cake's short skirt long jacket song on the album Comfort Eagle. At Citibank we will meet accidentally. Political cartoonist Michel Kikka satirized Citibank in his 1982 poster, And I Love New York. The lettering above the entrance to a New York City branch reads Citibank. Meanwhile, a stocking wearing bank robber exits and fires shots at NYPD officers responding to the robbery. See also City Gold, City Group Center, Sanford I Will, References. Further reading, Riston, Walter Riston, Citibank, and the Rise and Fall of American Financial Supremacy. Philip L. Zweig, New York, Crown, 1996. Citibank, 1812 a Euro 1970. Harold Van B. Cleveland and Thomas F. Huerters, Boston, Harvard University Press, 1985. External links, official website.